We have one of our head biometry technicians in the eye centers, and uh, Beth, tell everybody out there kind of what has the 700 IOMaster 700 done to you and your and you practicing here in our in our office. Well, when we first uh, purchased the 700, um, it kind of took me back a little bit because it took away my control. I was used to having control over everything I was doing with the patient. With the 700, the machine has the control. So it took me a little while to get used to that, and once I did and did my comparisons, I found that the machine does do actually what I want it to do, and I don't have to have the control over it. So what does that do for our flow here in the office? It takes us about half the time, if not maybe a third of the time, to get our scans versus what we were using with the, seven, uh, the 500. Reason being, you're not having the patient blink as much. You're not taking five scans on every um, part of this. You're taking one scan, which the machine takes all five for you in one click. So that is saving you a great deal of time. As for people who have very thick cataracts, we have a very difficult time with the 500 getting through those cataracts. I was doing immersions or contacts at least two to three times a week. With the 700, I'm lucky if I'm doing an immersion or a contact once a month. So it is able to get through a much thicker cataract with much more accuracy. K readings. We do multiple different types of K readings here to make sure everything's matching up. When we did this and we did our comparisons, we have found that the 700 has definitely got very good K readings. So we feel very confident with our readings off of this machine. Awesome. So how about now training other technicians like Flo, because you were the only one doing the 500 for a long time, but kind of a bottleneck, unfortunately. So has that helped you now being able to train other technicians? Most definitely. They get very nervous about these numbers because, of course, these numbers affect the patient's rest of their life. So now they are getting a nice reading off of these. They know how to compare the numbers now and what they're looking at, and they can feel confident about their readings before they give them to the doctor. So how about that fulvial pit, that OCT? that shows you the back of the eye. Is that easier to verify uh, that you're centered okay compared to the uh, 500? Most definitely. There is one of the um, printouts that you can get on this, which is the biometric part of it. It will show a picture of the eye. It'll also show you where they are gazing into. It gives you like a gray line through it. So you know that you're exactly where you need to be with the patient. It will also show the fovea pit. So when the doctor looks at it, he sees that we are actually in the right spot. I remember that first one you saw that when that picture of the epigretinal membrane. And you're like, Dr. Yes. Paul, I see this fovea your pit doesn't look right, so you can die, even diagnose some retina issues too. Correct. Well. So, that's nice. yes. so, so overall, you think it's valuable to have the 700 in your practice compared to the 500? Has it made a significant difference in terms of overall practice, you think? I believe it has. I believe the doctors have more confidence in the numbers that we're giving them, which gives them more ability to give the patients a great outcome. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that insight as a technician who does most of the work for us. Thank you for that insight. I hope it will help train other doctors and technicians too. Take care. Thanks, Beth.